Hello Artist. Today you're going to be creating this fall haunted house drawing. Throughout the drawing, if there are any parts that you don't want to do to keep it simpler, you can just skip over those steps. So for my younger artists like K through 2, your drawing could simply be the haunted house with the grassy hill. My older kids, third and fourth, you can continue to draw things like the moon and the bats, the tree and the bush, the tombstone and the pumpkin, and maybe even some spider's webs on the house. You can also keep the coloring as simple or complex as you would like to. On mine, I blended different colors and did some shading around the outside edges on every single area that I did. For instance, when I colored the grass, I went through with a darker color blue to create a little bit of shading and shadows. So for my older kids, third and fourth, if you would like to make it a little bit more complex by shading, you can do that. My younger kids, K through two, you can simply just color it in ooh la la and do a really good job. So make this whole drawing as simple or complex as you would like to today. Let's get started. You're going to need a sheet of purple paper and any black drawing tool that you have. You can use marker, crayon, colored pencil. We're gonna start at the bottom of our drawing. I want you to come up about three finger spaces from the corner. And the first thing we're gonna do is just draw a hill for our haunted house. And since it's supposed to be grass, we can go ahead and just give it a bumpy, wavy line. And it connects all the way to the other side of the paper, also about three finger spaces from the corner. Now we're gonna go ahead and start the house. Put a line here and it's gonna be diagonal. Go about halfway between where the hill and the top of the paper are. You're gonna repeat that same thing on the other side. Now we're gonna connect here and give it a swoop up. Connect here, give it a swoop up, and this will be the beginning of the roof. Now over and up, over and up, and there's the top of the roof. We're gonna add some levels to this. We wanna start with kind of a skinny rectangle and then a triangle on the top of that. We're gonna add another square over here to give it some texture. We're just gonna draw these little smile faces and that will be the shingles for the roof. Let's give it a window. And over here, let's draw some bricks. Bricks just look like lines that don't necessarily line up together. And that'll be our chimney. Let's draw a ghost coming out of the chimney. A hand, a head, a hand, and then you can fill in his eyes and his mouth. Now we're gonna to top the house off with one more level, add a line coming out of this part, add a little line coming from behind your ghost, and then we're gonna hook a swirl just like that. I'm gonna thicken in the swirl and you can do the same. Let's go ahead and add another big window up there. Now we're gonna add some details down here. Let's draw a big door for the house with a doorknob. Let's put some side windows in. They just look like squares with a T in the middle. We can add a round one at the top. A little sidewalk coming out of the house. Let's give it some lines to give it texture. We 
we need a nice moon, it's just a circle in the corner. We're gonna give it a bush, and it's just kind of a wiggly line. And then you can add some more lines in it to give it some texture. Let's add a tall tree to this side. You can go behind the house. Just give it a nice puffy shape at the top and it runs off the paper. And then some more lines just to give it some texture. Down here in the grass, we can just leave it plain or you could just add some grass lines we can add a jack-o'-lantern. It just looks like an oval with a square top. And then you can add your face. I'm just gonna do some triangles and a mouth. We can add some grass underneath it. Maybe on this side, we could draw a tombstone. Start off with a grass line. Upside down U. Give it a little line over here. Don't forget to add some texture. So once in a while, you can add in some grass lines. We can even go further and add some more things. So some spider's webs. If you just start with a line and curve, go back to the corner, and then some lines in between. I think I wanna add another one by the window. some lines across. And we could even make a little spider coming off of it. Four legs on that side, four legs on that side. We can just put some texture lines on the door to make it look like it's kind of old. We could even add some clouds around the moon or I think I wanna add some bats. A bat would be a circle. Bring your line out. Wavy line, color it in. Same thing on the other side, straight line. Wavy line, color it in. And I think I'm gonna draw two bats. I'm just gonna repeat what I just did. Remember to put your name at the bottom. And that's what my haunted house looks like after I'm done drawing it. Now we're gonna switch to coloring. The reason I had you draw on purple paper is because the night sky can already be really dark and that purple paper looks like a good night sky. If we went through and made it black, then you won't be able to see all of the details that we drew. So we're gonna leave it purple and it's gonna look so good when we finish coloring everything else. Now this is your project, you can be creative with it. You can follow along with the same colors that I'm coloring with, or you can choose different colors. This is your project. I'm going to fast forward through most of the coloring process. You can watch me till the end and then pause it so that you can go as slow as you need to go with coloring. And if you're in third and fourth grade, I'm gonna encourage you to do some shading. In the fall time, trees and bushes are starting to turn other colors like red and orange and yellow. So you don't have to just use green for those parts. You can think about some fall colors that you could use instead. We 
don't get to use white crayons very often. I'm gonna use a white crayon to color in the moon and I'm gonna use it to color in the ghost as well. We're gonna pretend like somebody's inside with the lights on and so we're gonna color all of the windows yellow. You could also use your white for this. Now this is where you can get really creative. Houses are lots of different colors. You could make it a red house with a blue roof. You could make it a green house with a brown roof. So you can be as creative with these colors as you would like to be. And that's what your fall haunted house drawing looks like when you're all done coloring it in. I hope you had fun today, artists.